What's up, good folks? I am uh, checking in from vacation. Out here in out here in beautiful Hawaii right now, as you can see, Waikiki Beach. It's chilling. I wanted to jump on the, um, real quick to talk about what the hell um, happened this weekend at the Barclay Center with T.I. I see a lot of people jumping in and, and hollering, you know, it's almost, I feel like folks is almost celebrating. They almost celebrating the fact that that, that dude got booed. Um, eh, I ain't finna celebrate it, but everybody that, everybody that's been in the game for any amount of time um, understands that what up, T Butter? Um, everybody that, under, that 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 has been in this any amount of time understands that one thing is pretty much inevitable. You fin you finna get in front of a crowd that ain't gonna like you. It's going it's going to happen. And the longer you and the longer you've done comedy, and the more experiences you've been put in, the less the more tools you have in your bag to get out of these little sticky situations when you're on stage, i.e. hecklers, uh, i.e. a joke not working, and having to adjust, um, you know, or at least having, having like I just said, there's, there's more tools in your bag, man. And that was the other day at the Barclays was just, the, uh, you know, that's, that's not an easy venue to, I haven't performed at Barclays, I'll say, but... Uh, I've definitely performed in front of New York crowds before. And New York crowds are a little bit different. They're not impressed. And that's what makes it so good. Every time I'm about to do something real, like a special or, a, or a, uh, you know, a TV taping for stand-up, I always, always, always book myself for a week or so in New York City and take the runs down through the, through the comedy clubs in New York because that's where you know where you're... Uh, that your that your you know that's when you know you got your shit together. It'll help tone you up. It'll let you know which you know which which direction to go. Um, so it's it's a it's a dope training ground. You know what I'm saying? So am I happy that Ti got booed? Nah, I ain't happy about that shit. But I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised. I ain't put that time in, and um, it's going to happen. I've seen. I went to. I've seen him before. I saw him at a comedy club, and um, he did fine. He was cool. You know, people get excited to see you for a little while, but in the comedy club, um, in, a, in in a comedy club setting, it's a little bit more personal. So uh, you're, you're a little bit more awestruck that you have, you know, the the superstar that he is. He's, he's a star, facts, facts on facts. He's a star. So the fact that you know you're in a small room with a star like that, someone that you're a big fan of, um, that's able. You know, you're, you're you're able to have a little bit more lenience to um, a little bit more lenience to what you know to, to what's going on up there. You're just more in awe of. All right, that's Ti out there. It ain't got nothing to do with. If, uh, if the shit's good or not, <laughs> it good ain't the quality. Good ain't ain't what it is. It's the fact that oh shit, it's him up there. But you lose that when a you in New York and b you at a concert because the concerts you got to actually pay attention. And in concerts, what make what what make everything go well is, um. In concerts, what makes things go well is the fact that everybody else around you is enjoying it as well. And the energy from from thousands of people laughing at the same time, it pulls you in to make it a thousand and one. But as soon as you're not interested in something, you can you can lose lose the connection with the show and then feel like you can yell out and boo and all of that because there's so many people there that you can't be singled out. So it's a very difficult spot. Very difficult spot to be in. So that's why most of the time, people who do concerts are the people who are, you know, well-crafted. That's just what it is. But 
Uh, shout out to T.I. Because, um, you know, he said what you're supposed to say after you get booed. And I challenge any comedian out here to tell me that they have never been booed. Never. I challenge any of them. We all been booed before. I'm not saying that A.T.I. is a comedian. I'm not saying yet. And I'm not saying that, um, you know, that I think he shouldn't have been. I don't know. I wasn't there, but from what I saw from what he was doing on stage uh, at the Ha Ha Cafe in Los Angeles, what I saw him working out there, I don't know if that was going to, that, that might not do the trick. It was, it was cool there, but it might not do the trick for the big venue. Um, but anyway, I just wanted to throw my two cents in, man. It's like, that seems like to be the, the trending topic on, on social media today that everybody wants to come on and celebrate the fact that this dude got booed, man. Just, I, I don't think it's his fault. I think it's, you know, it ain't his fault. He doing what people allow him to do. He's doing exactly what folks allowing him to do. And it, that's it. Ain't nothing wrong with that. They allow him on the show, and fuck it, get on the show. He don't know no better. Now it's up to him to do it again. Now you see what the difference is. Hi, Big Walt, what up? What up, Sassy? I see you. Um, yeah, man, I just wanted to tap in and say that, man. I ain't going to celebrate this dude's failure. That ain't that ain't how it's supposed to be. I thought this comedy community was a little better than that. I know we're a little, a lot of us feel disrespected with his, uh, with his, his sudden emergence in the game. But, uh, not me. He ain't no threat to me. I don't... All I can, shit, I help him. I don't give no, I don't give no shits. It don't matter to me. Ti, <laughs> Ti success ain't got nothing to do with my success, and and everybody else should feel the same. Yeah, I'm, am I dis? Do I do I feel disrespected that he's in the game, getting these opportunities? Not really. I feel like it's gonna work itself out. You wanna go on up there and get booed? Go on and get booed. Shit. Did it take an opportunity away from somebody else to possibly get five minutes up there on that stage? Yeah, it did. It sure did. Oh, well, though. Maybe they weren't going to get up there no way. They weren't booked no way. You know, from what I understand, he's doing it for free. So, was you going to go on there and do a guest spot in front of 11,000 people? I know I wouldn't have preferred to do no goddamn guest spot in front of a place that's making six, seven hundred thousand dollars of profit in the night and I don't get none of it. Shitting me. But oh well. So just remember that man, when you seeing folks fail, when you seeing folks fail or something, man, it's like What's the point of gloating about the failure? It ain't doing shit. I told you so. All right. We're going to get y'all I told you so's out. And then uh, let's figure it out from there, man. To me, T.I. is still dope. Dope hip-hop artist for sure. And anybody who got the balls to get on stage and try to tell jokes. Shit, kudos to you, fam. Kudos to you. Uh, so... Let this be a lesson uh, to everybody. Just understand what you're getting when you get out there. Does it make your show look better that T.I. came on? Probably. Does it make your show look worse that T.I. got booed? Maybe. But tell you one thing they're doing is they talking about it. They are there. The numbers went up. And realistically, as a superstar, that's all that he guaranteed he said he's a superstar not a comedian he says that himself superstars have fans and they bring people and they make people talk and that's exactly what he did one way or the other so anyway that'll be great man 
I'm about to go back on vacation. Look at that, boy. What am I doing out here talking about work? I got all this in front of me. Look at that shit, boy. No, that is not a postcard. That is where I'm at. Y'all be great out there today. I see y'all back mainland uh, in a couple days. Shit. No more jokes for me until this weekend.